Christmas and we're down here in Mavida in uh, the heart of London. Uh, Mr. John Macano has just turned up. Uh, Gentlemen, we do have, apart from Pat Cash, who's going to come up and say hello again, we do have somebody else here tonight, uh, guys, we have somebody here tonight who actually does like his tennis, uh, plays tennis, talks about tennis, uh, probably better known for other antics, uh, if you'd like to come up on stage, Mr. Jonathan Moss! Both McEnroe and Pat Cash, and I'm honest with you, they're not all their backed up to me. <laughs> uh, maybe they're like, hey, uh, I'm here because I'm a big tennis fan. They told me that the Mac was in town, they told me Pat was here. I thought, let's hear it for two of the legends of the tennis game, ladies and gentlemen. John McEnroe and Pat going on and Spazinger, believe it or not, have sponsored Wimbledon for 108 years. To put that in perspective, they started sponsoring them just before Mahout started paying Isla. That's how long they've been sponsoring them for. Uh, let me introduce you probably to John. I'm going to ask John and Pat, where's Pat gone to? That's over here. He's over here. They're going to come out. He's ready to go. We're going to talk a little bit about tennis here. If we get, if we go on too long, tell us and we'll be like, so come on over, Pat and John, come on up here. Sit down. Oh, I'm sitting, okay. Yeah. I tell you what everyone wants to know. I know this, is like, this is like one of your crowds at your show. I mean, this is unbelievable. This young, is a tough crowd. Young, good-looking people. That's what it is, John. Yeah, they look like that. Okay. John, here's what everyone wants to know. The big question is, Andy Murray, does he have a chance this year? Andy well, Murray, will he win Wimbledon for the UK this year? Well, I don't know if he's going to win it, but um, he's, uh, this is the best I've seen him playing six Great months Britain. today. Great Britain. Great Britain. Great Britain. Great Britain. Great Britain. Great Britain. <laughs> Yeah, see, I, I think today, actually, he turned the corner a little bit. He started playing the tennis. At, oops, sorry, I don't want to get the foot there. Uh, Pat, what do you think about the Molly's chances at the moment? Yeah, I think he played, he played, uh, what did he play? Today. Actually, I commentated on him today. Oh, man, so the, the day is just, you know, after a while. Now, he played well today. You know, he's, he's a good player, and... Great draw. He made his own draw. He went there personally and put the, and his own names in there. And so he's got a great chance. All right, Pat, if, if, if he's not going to win it this year, John McEnroe said he doesn't think this is Maui's year. He will get it one year. I'm pretty confident. I know you can. I hope so. Absolutely. Who will win this year? Who do you think? Because Federer had a shaky start. Nadal is playing better than ever, it seems. But you've also got Sutherland, you've got Wallet, Wheel, you want to see who's going to win you then? Well, I picked Nadal before the tournament. This has been, by the way, the best four days start to a win that we've ever had. So that's exciting. Better almost lost the first day. Then we saw Nadal come back after the injury. The Queen came for the first time in 33 years. Nadal just won in five sets, by the way. He had a, he had a tough match uh, earlier. So it's pretty, like, open. I think there's some um, people that are believing more. Maybe even, I picked Nadal, but then Roddick, the third pick, and Murray would still be the fourth guy. So if you guys were playing today with the, the rackets they use and the game they play today, how would you fare against Federer and Nadal? Would you stand a chance against a player as dramatic and athletic as Nadal? Pat, how do you do against Nadal? Well, on clay, I think it's fair to say Nadal would have the edge over me. <laughs> I think it's fair to say. But on a fast grass court, I think John and I's style on the courts that we played on, Nadal couldn't play the way that way. We would have a great advantage, but we would have a lot of trouble on the courts right now. John, is there anyone that you would admit to being able to beat you in your fight? Uh, probably um, uh, the, the, when Sampras played his best on grass, I must say that he was extremely difficult. I love the way uh, Becker played through his body around um, on this court. On a slow court, Borg and Nadal, pretty amazing. Um, let me ask you about you two playing together, because uh, you played, I know you played against each other at least once. Once? We played something like 50 times. But here, at the Wimbledon, you played once against each other, didn't you? Uh, Actually, it was twice. Okay. Yeah. And, and who won the first game, and who won the second game? You know, I'm very glad you asked that. <laughs> 
The first time was when Pat was a young buck, and uh, he uh, actually was new to the scene, but he was quite impressive in the semifinals. The second time was when, well, he was coming back for some injury, a lot of injury problems, and I was actually at the end, my last year I ever played here, we played a great uh, five-set match. Yeah, very close match. I was lucky to pull that out. So he just he just took you the second up. But you were being generous. You didn't want to eclipse him near the end of his career. You pass, isn't that what happened? No way. <laughs> If I could beat him, I would. I would have. No, it, it, uh, it was, for me, it was a great thrill as a 19-year-old to come and play John. And I've never seen anybody hit the ball. The first few hits in the warm-up, it was... I never saw anybody hit the ball with so little effort, and yet the ball went so fast. And it was a shock to me. I, in, in the warm-up, I was like, whoa, what's going on? It was, it was bizarre. And he, he always had that ability to be able to to, with very little effort, uh, run around the court and hit uh, fantastic shots. And, and to this day, I think, you know, I still love watching him play, you know, it's... Uh, it's you know, that's, uh, I suppose the player who has a similar uh, look about is Federer sometimes. He, he, he's quite effortless, especially the back end, he seems to just glide off him. Um, there's talk about him being perhaps the greatest player ever in the game. Maybe that's a meaningless thing to attribute to someone, but does he deserve that, do you think, if anyone does? I don't like to call anybody the greatest because Rod Laver, listen, take it for, for instance, Rod Laver, he got I think 12 Grand Slams, but Rod Laver got that, I think 12, maybe 13 Grand Slams. But in, the, in his peak, Laver won, in 1962 he won four. In 1969 he won four in one year. He won two the Grand Slams twice. In between, he was banned. He couldn't play, he's professional. So, you think he would have won a few. So, I would think Labour might have had, you know, 20, 25 Grand Slams. Who knows? But all the great players, John, Borg, Labour, Nadal, Federer, they're superstars, you know, and they, they had to play with the equipment they had to play with. And, um, you know, you have to appreciate that. John, who was the, uh, the greatest player you ever met at Wimbledon? Who was the toughest challenge for you? Well, the most fun um, was playing board. That was the most exciting. I didn't play Sampras, and I didn't play Becker, who got to seven finals. And I s suspect that that would have been very, very difficult, because their serves were so massive. So, um... I would have liked to play then just to experience it, what it was like and what, what I could have come up with, but that would have been difficult. But they were sort of at the beginning of their career, and I was sort of at the end of mine, so we, we, we didn't quite mix it up too well. But um, I would say that um, Labour, Sampras, and Federer are the three greatest ever, but Nadal has a chance to get into that mix now. If he keeps this up for a couple of years, he could be with the same breath as those three. Ladies and gentlemen, we're probably going to let you get back on with evening. Uh, I hope, like me, you are excited and thrilled to be in the presence of two of the greatest tennis players who have ever played Wimbledon or in all of the greatest tennis players.